What's going on, bros and girls? So the other day, I realized I never did do a review of my Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc that I unboxed at the beginning of the year, and with technology, if you keep waiting, it soon becomes obsolete, and this is also the case with reviews. I know I have waited too long, and a review for this phone would be pretty irrelevant now, as newer phones are out, and enough reviews are out already to make my review redundant. But before I get rid of the Arc, which has served me well, I do want to take one last look and review how Ice Cream Sandwich performs on it. Because even though this is an older single core phone, I do know many people either don't need a faster dual or quad core phone, don't have the budget for it, or simply having the latest cell phone isn't their priority, and of the single core phones, many models will stop their OS updates at Ice Cream Sandwich, and some are even still updating from Gingerbread to ICS. So if you fall in this category, this review is for you. So as usual, I'll start off with the cons. The first of which is touch lag on the pull down notification bar. If you have many notifications, instead of swiping them sideways to clear them one by one, I should be able to hit the X for a clear all, and when I do, as you can see, I have to tap it three or four times sometime. This could be maybe just a trade for my particular phone, but let me know in the comments if you've experienced this with yours too. One other con is RAM lag. Apparently ICS has been built for higher spec phones with more RAM, and if you have too many apps open, your phone will slow down. This is evident in my Arc, which only has 512 megabytes of RAM, whereas my uh, Samsung S3 with its 2 gigs never showed this when it was running ICS. In the defense of this, pretty much any single core phone, be it Android, iPhone, Windows Phone, etc., will all show this lag when multiple tasks are running, and Android still has probably the best multitasking system of any phone, in my humblest of opinions. And now onto the pros. The first is aesthetics. Everything from the lock screen to the home screen to the notification bar has been updated, and in my opinion, all for the better. Everything just looks so much cleaner and streamlined over the old gingerbread look. Also, the animations are much better. The screen rotation is a smooth 180 degree turn and aspect ratio resize of the screen. Also, even small things like a visual widget browser is a nice touch which lets you easily visualize how widgets will look on your home screens. Another pro is the notification bar and task manager slash multitasking menu functionality. With a notification bar, you simply have to swipe to clear a notification, instead of the old gingerbread where, if I remember correctly, you have to pinpoint the close button on the right hand corner. Also, there is now a shortcut to settings in the notification bar, which I find that I use quite frequently. And with the task manager, it now shows thumbnail views of each task, so you have a screenshot look at what each task is doing. Whereas old gingerbread multitasker just had icons of the running programs. Another pro starting in ICS is the network data usage management system. You can now track and limit your usage in phone as well as change the start and end times of tracking. So if you have a data plan that starts on a random day each month, you can start tracking on that day and end tracking on the same day of the next month. And if you have a small data plan like 100 or 500 megabytes, you can set the cap at that point so your phone will alert you and stop data usage when you reach this limit. The last part I want to touch on is the little tweaks here and there to make the phone more functional. When playing music, if you happen to lock your phone, the lock screen now has buttons to control the music. So you don't have to go in and find the music app if you want to simply pause or go to the previous or next songs. Also, the keyboard is slightly tweaked for a better autocorrection, and the cut, copy, and paste system is improved as well with simple icons along the top. So all in all, I think Ice Cream Sandwich is a very necessary upgrade for anyone with single core and even first gen dual core phones still running gingerbread. There are a few leg problems, but as I said, all the single core phones of any operating system, be it Android, iOS, or Windows Phone, are all showing leg here and there now. The functionality improvements ICS provides far outweigh these cons. So I hope you all enjoyed my review of Ice Cream Sandwich. If you did, please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And follow me on Twitter, it would be much appreciated. Until next time YouTube, PACE!